Okay, so let me talk about my Covent Garden Cubs series. Um, where did I get the idea for this series? If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I love to write about spies. And this is kind of because I am not so much of a character driven writer. I'm more of like a plot driven writer. So I need things that to happen to um, move the story along and to um, show different aspects and personalities um, of the characters. And so for me, the easiest way to do that is to give the character some kind of outside influence that they have to deal with or that they have to um, work together to defeat. And when I came to coming up with the idea for a new series that became the Covent Garden Cub series, I had written about spies a lot and I kind of wanted to get away from that because, um, you know, I wanted to try something different and I wanted to give readers something different as well. And so uh, in researching the Regency era, I knew that there was a vast underworld in the Regency era with a lot of crime and a lot of danger and actually whole like gangs of thieves that would hang out together and um, do crimes. And so I thought, okay, well, why don't I take this series and write about that world? So the first book in that series, Earls Just Wanna Have Fun, the heroine is Marlo, and she is actually part of a, a gang of thieves. And um, I don't want to give like tell you the whole story, but she's basically taken out of that world, put into a different world. And um, it's a really fun book because I got to look into Regency Cant, C-A-N-T, and that is basically the like slang or lingo that they used to use in the Regency. And I really had fun taking that and incorporating it into the book and, um, you know, just showing how even back in the 1800s, they had their own slang. And then for the other books in the series, The Rogue You Know and I Kissed a Rogue, I had took the main family from the first book and I kind of stuck with them and branched out into some of the other characters and also kept incorporating the um, sort of juxtaposition between the richest of the rich and the poorest of the poor, and that was really fun for that, that series.